Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, I just wanted to quickly show you. Uh, I was on my iPad and I seen a very good deal. I'm gonna buy it right now, uh, immediately, because <laughs> I don't want the deal to to go. So what I just bought was almost all of my money, but also welcome back to episode six. Uh, I bought this golden quiver of fire for 120k which I snagged that up real quick because this sells or you have to buy this at the luck shop at the other world for 225k so you can sell this for half that to a vendor for 112.5k so it's only 7.5k more expensive than what you could sell it to for the shop so it's literally impossible that I lose money off this or it's 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 almost literally impossible that I lose money off this and I know that I can sell it for a lot more money so I'm going to attempt to sell this for 185k I don't think I'm gonna have a problem selling it for 185k unless somebody else uh, is selling one which I, I think would be rare that somebody would be selling one I mean it's not impossible by any means but there we go 7.4k deposit 185k buyout price create listing so if that sells after the auction house fee we'll have made a profit of about 62k so really hoping that sells because I am broke as shit right now but this is another thing I've been doing a lot of AFK work so I am cooking level 98 so I used I used up my other five super knowledges and that cost a bit of money but I, while I was editing together a video, I was farming prized pikes. So I was making a video thumbnail and, and editing uh, my the low-level gold farming video guide, and I farmed up 31 prized pikes while I managed while I did that. So we're gonna sell those for some money, and we're definitely gonna need it now because we are, I mean, we are broke. We have 3k right now, so. Just gonna go over this vendor. I should be somewhere around close to 40k. If not, I'll hit 40k. Let's find out. No, I will hit 40k. Let's see here. 31 prized pikes. 40k. There we go. I have 40k, 30 gold. So, I mean, that's where we're starting off. We spent almost all of our money on a purchase. Now, I seen another thing in the auction house that enticed me. I can't afford it, but I could buy it soon if I wanted to, which is a abyssal pummel ring for or pummel brace for 50k. Now I don't really know if it's a good deal. I don't know if that's something. It's a good pummel gear swap. It is a really good pummel gear swap. So I'm thinking of buying it and trying to flip it for like 75 to 100k. But I don't know if it's the best purchase. It is, you know, right, right here. Right here, you know, 50k, plus 6 pummel, 300 melee combat, 250 damage to pummel. I feel like people are more likely to want to gear swap a necro brace, which kind of lowers a necro recast brace for pummel, so that kind of lowers the value of this. I really don't know what these shitty bracelets are worth for these skills. I know if it was a mage bracelet, it'd be worth a lot, but it's not, so I'm... I don't think I'm gonna buy it and I also don't want to be totally broke so you know that's what we got in the auction house our elm discs expired I'm just gonna keep them there in the bank right now dragon discs aren't selling but yeah hopefully we can get this golden quiver of fire to sell soon because if we do that we would be over 200k which would be really awesome we're also going to continue to licks I haven't been doing any licksing I am level 60 but before I don't know if before or after but when I feel like it, I'm going to record a couple of clips where I show you the Otherworld quest, and I'm also going to show you how to start the Stonevale quests, because there's a small quest line, not a small quest line, there's a little Stonevale quest line, and in this series we're definitely going to be taking the quests to our advantage, because we are a druid, we aren't a very wealthy druid, so leveling up the traditional way is really slow, so I'm going to try to use as many quests and repeatable quests as I realistically can in this series and I think that's just a good thing to practice because that's typically how a newer level player would do it 
because a newer level player probably wouldn't have as much gold as I do and as much knowledge about merching, so they wouldn't be able to make as much money off of their gold. So, you know, it's best that you take advantage of the quests because not only do they give you a uh, free experience, but they also give you gold instead of having to spend gold on elixirs. So, with that said, I will meet you in Stonevale where we s we're going to start a couple new quests and we're going to get Warden Armor. I think I accidentally said Metric Armor in the last episode, but enough of my rambling. I will see you in Stonevale to show you a couple new things now that we're level 60. I just seen this in the auction house. Um, I don't really know if it's worth recording, but it's 200 gold, and I'm kind of low on rings, so I have to be level 75 to use it, but it's 200 gold, I mean, <laughs> you know, fuck it, right? I'm kind of honestly curious what this ring sells for to the shop. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, it sells for 200 gold, and I bought it for 200 gold. So, actually, the person who sold this to me lost money on it because the 5% auction fee. <laughs> they only got 190 gold for it. Um, okay, so, yeah, I could probably sell this for maybe 500 to 1,000 gold. I don't know if I ever will. It might just be an item that I permanently keep in my bank. But uh, I could use it, maybe, when I hit level 75 if I don't get any better rings. Having an extra 100 health is you know, better than nothing, so yeah, thought I'd record that. Okay, so I wanted to share with you the three new quests that we're going to be working on. So the first is the Stonevale main quest line, which starts around the northern woods. You can check the other exclamation points. There's there's some other side quests, but I believe the Stonevale main quest line starts with this person down at the northern woods. So you just talk to this person, she's gonna make you you know, kill some of these imps, I think. What does she want? Find the chest that contains the, the satch, satchel. Defeat infernal scavengers until you find the amulet of Sir Noon. No, I don't know. So yeah, uh, I'm going to be doing this main quest line. So I'm going to be doing a mixture of Lixing and a mixture of this main quest line. So I just thought I'd show you that. I'm pretty sure this quest line goes for quite a while, so that's very useful. I'm also level 61, 42k, and I put some sunken lock boxes in the auction house for uh, 5k, 2.5k each, because I had a couple of them. Bought this, and uh, yeah, we did our bounties for the day. Still haven't gotten a single boon or prize, which is kind of unlucky, but whatever. Now, that's the Stonevale main quest line. Now, now that we're level 60, though, because you can start that quest earlier than level 60, I believe. But you're going to go over and talk to Swain the Messenger. And he will have a quest, the Wardens, medium XP, 100 gold. And you're going to run all the way over here. And you'll notice there's a question mark down here. And there's a little, like, ice path, I guess is what it is. I don't really know what... or I don't know if this is an ice path or... I, I guess it's stone. I don't know. So you run over here. There's also some fishing spots here, if you want to continue leveling your fishing. And these are the Wardens. And these are going to be the guys that give you your first two sets of quest armor. So you talk to this guy, he'll give you a decent amount of XP and some gold. And these five Wardens are what you need. Six Wardens, actually. This guy's for the weapons. So this guy right here is for the gloves. So we're going to talk about this. So he will give you the Gold Song Gloves, and you need one Moon Disc and one sun disc. I'll get the fragments. You'll also get a bit of XP, which is nice. Now, these discs you can obtain from six star mobs that range from level 60 to 80, and they spawn around here, where my uh, cursor is circling. That is where they spawn. Now, you won't be able to kill these bosses on your own. So you can obtain these discs two ways. You can you know, look around this area for the six star mobs and call over a high level, maybe if you're in a clan or something. So that's one way of getting the discs, get in the group and, and grind the discs out. Wouldn't really recommend it, but it's a way. Another way is to get into a clan and have that clan gear you for free. And the other way is to buy the discs in the market, which is probably how I'm going to be doing this. I'm probably not going to record all the discs that I buy, 
but I have the Dragon Discs because remember I bought those Dragon Discs way early on in the series for a stupid cheap price. I think it was 4K for like six of them. And I'm selling two of them because I won't need them all. But I'm going to be buying Moon and Sun Discs for 500 gold each, Oak Discs for 1K each. I need one more Elm Disc, Crown Discs I'll probably try to buy for like 2K each or something along those lines. But yeah, here is the Quest Armor and it starts at level 60 and it ends at level 80. And when you get full gold song armor, you'll get a little bonus for ha for having the full set. <clears throat> so that is the next thing that you're going to have to work on once you hit to level 60. Now, I did skip over this initially in the playthrough, but there's also another type of quest armor if you're really struggling. And it's actually pretty good for specifically casters. It is arguably better than the quest armor, the main quest armor. It is this so this is dusk shadow armor and what you need for this is it will ask you for stolen mccroin items which are rare drops from any of these uh, enemies that spawn in shelmont you know it's decent armor and there's three sets so there's this set and then when you get to stonevale there is another set of armor that you can buy and i think it's called it's called dark shadow and it's a little better and this armor it gives decent armor values, it gives good evasions, but it doesn't give elemental resist. So this is Dark Shadow, it's like Dark Shadow Gloves, it wants me to find Corrupt Fangs, and Dark Shadow Boots, it wants me to find Fey Talismans, and you know, if you read the quests, you'll find out what you need. Now, it's like I said, it's arguably better for Druids and Mages. The reason why I'm not going to get it is because I really don't feel like farming the components. Farming the components for it is an absolute pain in the ass, and I just don't want to do it. And I don't really want to buy them. Now, the Warden Armor, you're still going to want to work towards getting your Warden Armor anyways. Because you need Warden Armor, and then Metric Armor, then Frozen Armor, to then get your Dragonlord Armor. So for, and then your Exalted Dragonlord Armor, and then Dutch Gull. So this is the quest line. You need the Warden Armor. You don't actually need the Spirit Shadow, or the Dark Shadow, or the Dusk Shadow Armor sets. But they are nice to have. If you do collect some of the components, maybe you could cash them in. But I just thought I'd let you know that there are two kind of different quest armors. Spirit Shadow stops at level 100, and this main, the Warden Armors, like I said, it goes to Metric at 105, Frozen at 130, Dragonlord at 170, so it goes all the way up to, to 220. So, yeah, definitely work on getting Warden Armor. I wouldn't recommend skipping over it. And you could skip over it, get the Spirit Shadow, and get the discs later when you're much richer. That is something you can do, but... Personally, for this series, I'm not going to be doing that. Now, for the other quest that I wanted to share with you, is the quest to get into the other world. So there is this place called the other world, and there's a big portal over here, but you won't be able to go through it until you've completed this quest. And you get the quest from this person over here, Piranus the Mad. You're going to talk to him, and I'm just going to skip to the quest. He's going to make you kill these Blackstone Druids, or whatever they are. And it's the first key piece. And you're going to have to run through this quest seven times, and I'll show you where all the enemies are. So if we read this, defeat this Blackstone, the Blackstone Keymaster to absorb his key piece, you can find him in Crookback Hollow. So we're going to go over to Crookback Hollow, and we are going to show you the location and it'll show up with the cross so this is the location for this black stone when I'm there I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip to to when I get there okay so here he is it's all the way over here and I'm sure you've seen these things before kind of spawn and I've, I've just kind of ignored them but the, this quest is what they're for and you're going to have to kill I think it's six or seven of these guys in order to then gain access to the other world so it's a bit of an annoying quest there we go, the first key piece. Now when you kill that, you're going to have to return back to Stonevale, back to Piranus the Mad, and he's going to then give you the next quest for the next person that you have to kill, so on and so forth, until you do all seven. Okay, so we're going to talk to him, the second key piece, and there we go, and this guy is, where is he? He's in Lear's Reach, and I think I know where he is. I think he's over down here. So here he is. And we're going to kill them. They're pretty easy. These these earlier ones are 
Easy, right? Level 35. Now, you can actually start doing this quest at an earlier level. I just wait till I'm level 60 because, well, you have to be level 60 to do the seventh key piece quest. But you can actually start doing this, I think, at level 30. Um, and then every five levels, you get a new one. So you can you could gradually do the quest. I don't normally do that. I just wait till, level, till I'm level 60 and I do it all in one go. But there is an advantage to doing it step by step because you'll actually get XP. As you see, quest one completed, we didn't get any XP for it, where if you were level 30, you actually do get XP. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, XP low. So there we go. Yeah, we got one XP for that. If I was level 35, it would give us more. So now this enemy, I believe, is in Dustwitter at the end. So I believe there's one in Crookback, one in Lear's Reach, one in Dustwitter, two in Shelmont, and two in Stonevale. So this guy is all the way up here. Okay, so here he is. We're just going to kill him. I'm going to Grasping Aries this guy so he doesn't do too much damage. And I might as well kill this guy because sometimes he can drop good shit. Rose Quartz. Alright. Alrighty. Fourth key piece. We got eight experience for that. So I believe... Where is the fourth one? I know where he is. He's over here at the Grey Gorge area. Yeah, he's right over there. I'm gonna use this lay stone to get to him. Okay, I'm going to... <laughs> Grasping roots that uh, that guy so I don't die. All right, there we go. Fourth key piece done. I'm probably gonna have to go to the tavern real quick to heal my energy and health. All right, so we're back from the tavern, healing up our energy, and the fifth one is all the way up in this tower. Okay, so we're finally up here, killing this guy. We had to kill all the mobs because I got absolutely annihilated trying to run up here because I have no health. But there we go, fifth key piece done. We're just going to go back to the tavern because I need more health and energy. Oh, crit lightning strike. That is, a lightning strike is a really good skill. It is pretty awesome. I'm just going to drop the stuff. I really don't care to sell it. Okay, there we go. Second or sixth key piece. Alright, so the seventh key piece is found down at the Southern Dales. Bro, what are these guys' range? I'm being attacked by another fucking needler. What is their range? Oh my god, they can see you from so far away. It's insane. I've always hated fairies, man. I have always hated them because their detection radius is like halfway across the fucking map they're sniping at you oh man i'm tilted okay okay there we go jesus just i don't want and, and he offers you another quest I, I don't usually take it i don't really know what it's for it, it gives you some some bullshit like a, a potion of piranhas i don't know what that does Okay, okay, so now that we completed that quest and I'm ready to explode, we can walk all the way over here to the other world and gain access to the other world, but there is no way in hell I'm doing that without restoration potions or some type of food with resurrection idols. So, before I go mentally insane, I'm going to try to buy, you know, a couple hundred idols, and I'm probably going to go make some health food with my cooking level. Because if not, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go absolutely ballistic. So I'll see you then. We're just getting a trade here. Thank you. I was shouting in the area buying 200 idols for 4k. And we are just starting to do a bit more licksing. So... I just thought I'd record that trade. Uh, okay, uh, I need three some. So I just showed in the castle that I was buying some discs. This guy is giving me some sun discs. For 500 gold each, so I'll need that. I have a little chart 
I have a little chart that I have that is it, it shows all the discs that you need for the full warden set so you need two moon three sun three oak three elm four crown four dragon so yeah, I just wanted to share that trade okay looks like I'm getting a trade probably yeah discs okay so that's a thousand gold um, I think it's four thousand seven hundred and fifty yeah I'm pretty sure that's what it is okay awesome uh, and yeah the discs they're not too expensive I mean a full set of warden really doesn't cost too much thank you okay look at that so I'm pretty sure now if I put all the discs in my bank it will be a full set yeah so I'm pretty sure how it works is according to my guide right here it's one moon one sun for the gloves one moon one oak for the boots two sun and one elm for the helmet two oak and two crown which is correct two elm two dragon two crown two dragon so yeah we have all oh, that that looks so beautiful uh, the, the cornucopia of colors of discs never gets old so anyways we need to cash in these for our gloves and our boots these will be for the other items although I've only done two elixirs I've done a bunch of fishing I have 37 prized pikes right now so that will get me close to 80k which will be really nice but anyways we're just going to cash these things in there's another fisher oh also I did some cooking we're cooking level 105 it's starting to get pretty expensive but I made up 100 pancakes and these give 500 health so 520 health so it's kind of like a cheaper restoration potion so I've been using that to avoid buying restoration potions because they're kind of expensive 150 to 200 gold a piece and there we go and we get 10,000 XP per piece so this it's not the best but the full set is nice you get extra energy you get a bit more armor you get uh, some resists which are very useful so we're going to apply that and more energy, more armor, better than the Dark Shadow. Oh yeah, I also bought, I got these Dark Shadow boots because I got five Fey Talismans from killing the Fairy Imps when I was doing a quest, so I figured, eh, I'll cash these in, why not? But anyways, I'm gonna drop these things now. Uh, do I really want to, I don't, I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care that I'll never be able to get those again. Um, so yeah, there we go. Hopefully we can replace this mask soon and we're yeah, we're starting to get that uh, gold song armor so hopefully we'll stop looking like complete shit in a second and we'll actually have a matching armor set that looks good uh, but anyways I guess I'm gonna try to get to level 70 and we're gonna try to get the helmet and then we'll probably try to wrap this episode up so I'll see you then oh and one more thing while I was over here thinking of how I'm going to get to level 70 I wanted to do a quest that's kind of important I think to show so you talk to this person over here and you do the chaos and stone vow stone veil or whatever and it's going to make you pick up three burdock flowers they just look like this green with like some white green stems white flowers and I think there's one more down here but they're all over the place you can find them pretty easily and this will be useful for explaining a couple items that you may have seen around in the auction house or whatever and I'll explain what they do so it's going to give you this dagger which does divine damage does divine damage it's the only way that you can kill these wraths because they're uh, immune to all their other damage types so it's just going to ask you to kill one of these wraths so you're just going to have to auto attack them oh I have two on me Oh, they do, like, basically no damage. They do 8 damage. It's the stupid Glimmering Fae that's doing all the damage. No XP. But it gives you a free Book of Alternation and a Book of Rebirth. So what this does, well, it, it says, Using a Book of Rebirth resets your stats and allows you to try out new stat combinations without losing your progress. Book of Alternation resets your skill points. So if you've messed up your skill points... 
you can buy a book of alternation and if you've messed up your stat points you can also buy a book of rebirth so you aren't stuck with these stat points now the game gives you by doing this quest two for free the quest isn't very difficult to do uh, I wouldn't recommend using them the free ones you get unless you've really fucked up your skills you can also buy them in other ways you can use your hunter favors you can buy them on the market which is what I recommend I wouldn't recommend using hunter favors for anything other than your mount but you can use them to buy a book of rebirth or a, or a book of alt if you really need to so yeah very important concept if you've messed up your stats or you just want to try something new but they can be a bit pricey a book of alt on my server I think sells for around around uh, 10k and a rebirth maybe 15 to 20k so they're not they're not too cheap so anyways just thought I'd share that with you and hopefully next we will get to level 70 and get our gold song helmet okay so I was just browsing around the auction house and I seen these Lanrick boots for 8k blue OG Lanrick which OG Lanrick is completely been devalued now because it's not really OG anymore um, you can get it in the new chests but I seen them for 8k and I was thinking like debating because I almost never buy fashion I I stay away from fashion like it's the plague because I suck at fashion I think it's a very overpriced market you never know what's what it's really hard to sell but blue Lanark boots for 8k I think it's a decent deal so I have no idea it's a complete shot in the dark but I'm going to attempt to merch it so we'll see how it goes oops so we're gonna buy them for 8k because I, th I think I could probably sell them for 20 I think I could sell them for 15 to 20 so I think I could double my money on that so we're going to attempt to sell them for 20k and see if that sells. If not, we might do 15 slash 20, see if we can entice somebody to, to bid on it and maybe somebody buys it out. I don't know. I'm going to put it in for 48 hours because, yeah, whatever. I also have some sunken lock boxes in here. We now have all of our auction slots used up, but stuff will be expiring soon, so I don't have anything else to merch. And I'm also going to take this opportunity to sell these prized pikes that I've been farming. Just in my downtime, I got 37 of them. So we may as well sell those to, you know, re-up some money because I'm starting to feel really broke now with 25k and a lot of stuff in the auction house. I mean, most of my money, like 70% of my money is stuck in that quiver. So I definitely want to, I've been, you know, encouraged to farm a lot of prized pikes because... Well, in the case, if that quiver takes a couple weeks to sell, that will be really unfortunate. So I'm, I want to have gold to make sure that I can merge. So we just made, all, I think, over 40k there. Definitely over 40k. So now we have 69k. We're level 69. And, uh, yeah. I will now hopefully see you guys when I'm level 70. <laughs> okay, so I was just uh, walking around collecting uh, bounty pledges for day eight uh, and I just found this so I thought I'd kill it hopefully it'll drop something good I don't know what the level 51 drops but uh might actually be good we'll see standard phantom blade 20 magic damage that sucks <laughs> that kind of that that sucks I was hoping it'd be better um but yeah, just thought I'd show that. Found another rare mob. I'm finding a lot of them. I don't know if the spawn rate's increased or something. Like, uh, maybe because I'm just playing the game more. I don't normally find that much. Uh, the, the the amount of rare mobs that I've found. I've already found like three in like eight days. Anyways, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. Okay, so uh, as you've seen in the last clip, we got this rare blade. I'm probably not going to use it because the equipment weight. I have 1,522 energy with it on and 1588 with it off and I don't really need I don't really need it you know I, I don't use auto attack so I'm not going to use it but we also hit level 70 because it's day 8 and we did all of our bounties for the day still no hunter prize or boon which is sad but 
day nine we'll be able to upgrade our mount to 20%, so that'll be nice. We have 73k, and we hit level 70 from doing the bounties. And that means we get to get the, the new helmet, which is two sun discs and an elm disc. Another thing that I wanted to share was, as you can see, we have mail. And a couple things sold when I was sleeping. We got the Lanrick boots that sold for 20k, so those sold pretty quickly. So that was a 12k profit, which is pretty good. Probably could have sold them for more, I guess, because of how fast they sold. Maybe like 25-50k, but that's one of the reasons why I don't really fuck around with... Uh, with fashion, because I just, I really have no clue, but I knew it was a good deal. And our sunken lockbox is sold for 5k, so that's 25 extra k. And what we got in the auction house right now are some lockboxes, quiver of fire. I'm not going to bother putting in the dragon discs in the auction house, because people are selling them for pretty cheap. Yeah, 5k. So, not going to bother with that. Anyways, we're going to cash in these discs to get our gold song helmet. I also thought I'd mention, for druids, the armor is called Gold Song, but for each class, it will be different. So, Warden, so we, we just kind of generally call it Warden Armor. For Warriors, it's called Blood Strike. For Rangers, what the hell is it called for Rangers? I forget. It's something, I think it starts with a G. For Mages... I also forget what that's called. I forget what they're all called. I know Warrior's Blood Strike. I know Rogue is something with the moon. <laughs> it's like Moon Shadow? Yeah, I think it's Moon Shadow. Uh, anyways, just thought I'd mention that. And we're going to go cash this one in. The helmet. Alright, we got 10,000 XP. And the helmet, which gives 40 energy, 19 armor. So, <laughs> we'll definitely be good. It's a little, little less weight. So there we go, we got three out of five, and we bought all the discs today, so we did a lot this episode. We also have, we have 98k, Quiver still isn't sold, but I was also doing farming, and I'll probably do more farming as I edit this video. So we have 24 prize pikes, so I'm going to cash these in, I'm not going to bother showing you, but yeah, so if I have like 130k by next episode, that's why. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. We kind of recuperated all of our money from the quiver. So if you think about it, we kind of have like a 300k net worth. <laughs> and it is the morning of day 8 on this character. We just got our super knowledge potion from our daily rewards. So, yeah. 8 days in. Basically a 300k net worth. Completely free to play. And... Next episode, I think we're going to focus on trying to get to level 80 to complete our Gold Song armor. I'm going to have to buy some more elixirs, as you can see, but I'm going to use the remaining ones today, most likely. Anyways, I think this is a good place to end the episode. So, Oh, one more thing I wanted to share. I bought some idols and I made it to the other world, so I just walked over here. So we have access to the other world now. You don't really need access to the other world until you're around level 80. But I, I was near the area, so I figured that I'd just go ahead and do it. There's a Lux vendor here, which sells, you know, some pretty good stuff. Pretty expensive, though. I, I definitely won't be buying any of it. But just if you're wondering, this is the level 50 Lux vendor. And yeah, it's pretty expensive. I, I, I'd recommend buying the stuff off the market and not from the shop unless you're really rich. And I'm probably going to go find a place to take a new thumbnail because I think I'm going to do the thing where I have a different thumbnail background for, you know, five, every five episodes or something like that. Anyways, I just thought I'd share that progress and uh, I'll see you in episode seven.